all right so welcome back again my name is jesse and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial be trying to see how to use your large language models locally right so in case you have some llms and you want to use it locally how do we do that so some um, some time ago we saw how to use gpt4 which is another alternative in this tutorial, we're trying to see how to use llama right so let's explore what you'll be doing so the basic idea behind it is that you need to get to the model and we can get them here so if i go to gpt for all we have those from no nomic or yeah from nomic which has several models right that you can download so there are several of them you can also go to hug and face which is uh, and they have a lot of models that you can also check out Now you can also check them out right and then download them they are right there so how do you use one of them right so we are using llama so to be able to use llama you just have to install it on your system so in case you don't have llama on your system you can just go with this option here so pip install llama index so that is one of the ways you can use llama index or you can also use pip install llama cpp right this is a python binary for the c++ package then python so these are the ones that you can use so you can either use the llama index or you can use the llama c++ so let's see how it works so this is the model that i'm using which i've already downloaded and stored here inside my llama index very important and now let's start with it so i'm just going to start with the method number one so method one so the method one is that we are trying to use the c plus plus right so it's going to be from llama c plus plus right we want to import the model so the model we want to import is this particular llama model right the class and then from there we can now create our llm so we can call this my llm and then i'm going to pass in my llama so if you check out the content of this class and then we just do a question mark for this you're going to have the model part right the context window how much you want by default is 512 you can expand it there are some other parameters you can also pass right so the model part is the part that you have here that's what you want to supply so I'm just going to go back again and then I'm going to specify my model part. So model part, and then I'll pass in the part to my model, which is the one we had above. That is also this other you need. And you can see that it's downloading it. It's already there, so it's going to initialize it. And now I can chat, make some chat, right? So it's going to be LLM, then I can pass in my query so let's pass in some query which is going to be what are large language models and how do we use them how do we use them right so there's a question that i'm asking and then i can run it so if i run it it's going to analyze it behind the scene is going to talk to my model right this is not doing it over the internet like opening a chat gpt gpt3 this is doing it to my local model so it's interacting with this local model and it's going to give us the result that is one of the ways so it's similar to using gpt for all which we saw earlier on so in case you want to see how to use gpt for all locally you can check the links below because i have some there and now it's going to return the result this one depends upon how fast the system is right and then we also have uh, some of them here right? some of the models here so the advantage of open ai and then this is that open ai is fast right because it's a service for so like more powerful system but this is just locally here and now it has return my result so you see that we have the id the objects and then you can see the model that is using and the choices so this is going to be the result right you can see that this is the result that was returned here right and it's giving us all of this out of the box so that is one of the ways you can use your 
large language models locally, right? Using Llama, right? That is especially if it's a Llama model. Perfect. Let's see the other alternative that you can also use. This is going to be method number two. So for method number two, we are using method two. This is using Llama index, not Llama, but Llama index. So in that case, it's going to be the same thing. So similar. So from Llama index, I want to go to my LLMs because Llama index has a lot of LLMs that we can use. Right, so if we have LLMs here, and then I'm going to import my Llama, right? So Llama CPP. This is the base class behind the scene in case you don't specialize it or in case you don't specify. And now I can call it as my LLM. Let's call it as two or GPT, something like that. <laughs> and then I'm going to pass in my Llama. And this one also takes the same thing, it's also going to take the model part and the model URL. So if I go back and I explore this, so we have llama and I explore it with question mark. You can see that this one also takes the model URL, which is by default is picking this, right? In case you don't specify. So it's so similar to where we took it from, right? From hugging face. And then you can also specify the part. So either you specify the URL or you specify the path and it's going to work for us. And there are some other parameters you can also specify. And behind the scene is actually being built on top of Llama C++, right? As you can see from here, it's actually using Llama C CPP, right? To actually do the same thing. But this is a wrapper around it, right? As you can see from Llama in this. Okay. So now I can pass in my model part, which is going to be equal to my model part. So in case you don't have the part, you can just specify the URL and it's going to download it for us. Just finish and now I can chat with it. So to chat with it, you need to go with the chat, right? And then you have to pass in your tuple of your tuple. So the tuple is supposed to be like this. So let's go with from Llama index. We have some very nice systems that we can use to so import. We have, I think it's supposed to be, uh, there are a lot of ways you can do that, right? So the idea is that we have to create a chat message from which we can interact. So I think it's supposed to be inside my base. I'm not sure, but yeah. And then we have here, we have the chat message. Yeah. So this is how to do that. And then from there, I can now create my chat message and then pass it into my, so I can call that my message, which is, is going to be my chat message. And the chat message takes in the role. So whatever role you want it to be. So let's say I want it to be, let's say a user. And the next one is going to be, or oh, an assistant or whatever it is. The next one is going to be my content which is going to be what I want. So how useful are in indices in search? Oh yeah, in database search and LLM search, right? Something like that. So this is the message I'm sending. And now to send a message, I can just go with the same thing we did. And I'll pass it here as a tuple or as a list inside my message. And it's going to go behind the scene and then send this information to my model and then return the result, right? So that is what is actually doing behind the scene. So these are some of the ways we can actually use our models, our Llama models locally. So we have seen the first method using Llama C++ or CPP, <laughs> and we also have the second method using Llama index. You can also use LangChain to also do the same thing. And you can also use GPT for all to also do the same thing, which we have seen some time ago. So that is how it works. So let's go back and check and see. It's taking some time for it to return the result. Okay, so in case you have any question or contribution, you can put it in the comments below. And let me know if you like this video. 
GPT-4 has some very nice models and my concern is I hope in the future these models they are becoming bigger and bigger and bigger and I think one of the ways that everybody will benefit is if you have a compression algorithm to compress these big models into smaller ones but more effective and faster right that is going to be a very good breakthrough because this is good and you need a lot of space and internet bandwidth to get these huge models there is oh let's go back again perfect so just finish like as you can see it gave us a result as chat response and you can see the chat message and then you can see that it came as assistant the content so indices can be useful in both search and lm right so very useful information that is how to use llama locally on a system to interact with your system like your models locally from python so thank you for watching the tutorial and see you another time stay blessed